right, uh, let's get to the weather. Lonnie Quinn is here now. Gorgeous, gorgeous little stretch we're in right now. Look, look what I wrote here on the board. Here's your picture outside right now. I'm on Team Mo for this one. It's the summer's best weather. I mean, 73 degrees. Tomorrow you kick off, kick off, kick off August. Should be the dog days of summer, and you're having this beautiful, beautiful weather. You will get a nice, refreshing, sort of cool night ahead. In fact, tomorrow morning, the coolest morning we've had since June. As for the afternoon, Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon, it's comfy, about 80 degrees. Not much rain, maybe a couple of stray showers. That's it. But late Thursday into Friday, the pattern changes. All right, the humidity comes back. Looks to be the wettest time period again, late Thursday into Friday, maybe some storms mixed in, but what's going on with the humidity? I mean, where did it go? It was in place on Saturday, felt like 93 degrees outside. Some of you even felt hotter than that. But tomorrow morning, zero humidity. It's 65 to kick off your day. What's up with that? It's all about the airflow in our atmosphere. For Saturday, here was your set, here's your setup. The wind was coming in from the south, sort of southwest. That's a humid air mass. It's also very hot. Think about this. Phoenix, Arizona, 31 straight days of temperatures that are 110 degrees or hotter. 31 straight days, they broke the streak today. They were 108, all right? So that's our hot and humid air that we experienced on Saturday. By Sunday, the situation changed, and here's what happened on Sunday. It's more of a, southwest, uh, more of a northwest flow. That northwest flow deepens as you get into your day tomorrow, so it's even cooler tomorrow, more comfortable. But look where that air is coming from. It's coming from right here, right around the U.S.-Canadian border uh, in Montana, Wyoming, beautiful weather, right? Well, I can vouch for that. That's exactly where I was last week when the heat was on here. Look at this picture right here. This is my son, Nate, holding his new bride, Juliet. All right, there's no mugginess, no haziness in that atmosphere at all. It was just picture. Perfect, I'll tell you. Here we go. Let's bring up that seven day forecast. We'll go through it all for you. 80 degrees tomorrow, a nice looking picture. 81 on Wednesday, a nice looking picture. Again, rain chances for the next two days, 5% or less. Low humidity, great temps. Thursday, 83. Humidity starts coming back late Thursday night. There is a rain chance, but Friday looks to be the, uh, the muggiest day out there with a good chance for a shower, even some storms possible. Saturday, quick note about Saturday. It did look like sort of a wet weather day, and now I think the wet weather is earlier in the morning and you get a good chunk of your day to enjoy. Did you get Norman Rockwell to commission right. to paint Wasn't that, that something? Well, you, look, the photographer was great, but you can't mess up that shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got such a beautiful backdrop. Life is good. Congratulations. Congrats to the newlyweds. Very nice. Quinn.